Hey folks, Dr. Joe Esposito here. I am glad that you're there because that means we get to share some good information and I want to give you information to help you naturally get well and stay well. That's my goal. I want to naturally help you get well and stay well. So if you uh, have issues or questions not pertaining to today's show, you can always send them to me through our website, drjoe.com, drjoe.com. What we're going to talk about today, don't ignore these signs and symptoms. I get questions every single day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, come in on our website, drjoe.com, from you, the listeners, with health concerns. And many times you don't know who to turn to. So I end up being the, the source that you turn to. And you say, hey, Dr. Joe, I have this, I have that, and hopefully I can give you an answer. And maybe you can handle it on your own. Many times you can. I never make a promise or a guarantee, just so you know, it's not saying I can fix anything. I can't fix anything but I can advise you as to what's the best course of treatment. So I want to jump right in because I got a ton to cover. So don't ignore these symptoms. Now, last week we did a show on arthritis and it was very well received because I said that if you have a bone out of place, it will become arthritic. The bones will rub up against each other and they will wear out. That's exactly what happens. Osteoarthritis is a mechanical condition. Bones are out of place, just like tires on your car. They rub up against each other. The joints wear out. The nerves become exposed. It hurts. And there's several things you can do. Uh, You can take anti-inflammatories, maybe painkillers, and cover up the pain. And that's a great way to cover up the pain, but doesn't fix anything. And what happens then is you don't feel the pain. So what do you do? You start moving around more. You put more stress on that joint, and it usually makes it worse. So... If you have swollen or stiff joints, you might think, well, it's no big deal. I just did some yard work. I did some housework, but it persists. I've been in practice almost 38 years now. Patients come in all the time and they say, Dr. Joe, I've had this problem, this stiffness in my hip, my spine, my neck, my fingers, whatever. And it's been going on for years. And I always just thought it would go away, but it hasn't. It hasn't gone away in years. Yeah, well, you know, I can deal with it. I take some acetaminophen. Stiff joints are a very serious problem. The one thing you should never ignore is swollen and stiff joints, and that can happen anywhere in the body. There's 206 bones in the body. Any one of them can become an issue, including your skull. Your skull bones can actually get arthritis in them. But if you want to hear that, go to our website, drjoe.com. Listen to the show we did on arthritis. That's not today's topic. Signs and symptoms could be uh, of, of stiff joints are usually a sign of declining health. And... It, the quicker we get to it, the easier it is to fix in most cases, or at least cer- certainly stabilize. It could be early signs of osteoarthritis, which is, like we said, degenerative, or rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease. It's the body attacking itself. If you have one autoimmune disease, you're more susceptible to have other autoimmune-type reactions. So you got to deal with the autoimmune issue, not necessarily the lupus or the uh, osteoarthritis, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, yeah, you deal with them, but you always want to get to the underlying cause, which is the, uh, in this case, the immune issue. So we always try to get to the cause of the problem and not just treat the symptoms. So if you have these signs, uh, it could be a lot of things. It could be nutrition, could be arthritis, could be a immune system imbalance, um, could be you haven't worked out in a while and you, you moved around more than you should. So if you have joint stiffness, I strongly advise you come see us right away. It could be more serious things too. So if you have joint stiffness, neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, folks, please just come see us. Stop suffering, first of all, many times needlessly. And number two, you don't want this to progress. It can just keep getting worse and worse and worse, and then it could get to the point where it really isn't manageable. So if you'd like to make an appointment with us in the Atlanta area, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb, and we would love to be your doctor. So if you want to make an appointment, you go right to our website, drjoe.com, drjoe.com, and you can book it online or call us, and we'll get that set up for you. But don't ignore stiff joints and pain because it's telling you something's wrong. My general rule with stiff joints and pains is this. After three days, if it's not better, or certainly much better, improving and still little there, you need to come see us. Now, yeah, you could go work out. You can play sports. You could do yard work and be stiff. That's fine. You probably don't need to get a doctor's appointment for that. But if it's going to last more than three days, it's an issue. And some of you, I know, have had these problems for years, decades. Stop suffering needlessly. Come see us. It's a very important thing to do. Other signs and symptoms. Dr. Joe, I'm sensitive to cold temperatures. Other people around me are fine and I'm freezing all the time. You might want to get that checked as well. 
it could be a sign of a thyroid condition. And the thyroid condition, like any other condition in the world, the quicker we get to it, the easier it is to deal with. And so if you want to make an appointment to come see us for that, again, we can, we can do some testing as well, maybe go see an endocrinologist. But if everybody else is comfortable and you're freezing, something's wrong. You might want to get that one checked. I have patients and uh, listeners, of course, send me questions all the time about uh, their lifestyle. Hey, Dr. Joe, I sit all day. I'm a computer person. I sit all day, but I work out an hour a day. There's a couple of rules when it comes to physical activity and health. Number one is you can't outrun your fork. What that means is no matter how much you work out, your diet and your, your structure of the body is you, you can't out, un, undo that, the damage that you're doing just by uh, working out. So you can't outrun your fork. You need to focus on proper nutrition. When it comes to health, weight loss, anything. I would say 80% of what we're dealing with has to do with nutrition in most cases. The other 20% lifestyle, exercise, environment, stress, things like this. You have control over what you put in your body. You might not have control over your job. Well, you could always get a new job if you want to. But your job says, I have to sit all day. I have to do Zoom calls all day. So I have to drive all day. So that may be something that really is not negotiable but what you're putting in your body is negotiable. So if you sit all day, lack of movement can cause problems with muscles and joint pain, uh, uh, poor endurance, uh, can cause mental dis disorders, uh, brain fog, because your brain and your body need oxygen, they need stimulation, and they need nutrition. And if you're sitting around all day, many times you're not giving it stimulation and you're not giving it oxygen, because when you sit, Close down on your lungs. The lungs need to be opened up to get as much air in as possible and then exhale the waste product and get more air in, more oxygen. And if you're sitting all day, it's really hard to breathe properly. So it's important that you get up and move around. So here's a little trick I want you to consider. Set this on your phone, uh, your, uh, your phone or your computer. Every hour, have an alarm go off. And what you can do is stand up, and do something called a cross crawl. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is, this is the simplest, easiest, most amazing thing you'll ever learn when it comes to exercise. Stand up and bring your right knee to your left elbow, bring it, raising your knee and bring your elbow down. Then bring your right elbow to your left knee, like you're marching in place, but right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. I want you to do that for 30 seconds every hour. You can do it on Zoom call. Put yourself on mute if you need to, or you know, you block yourself out if it's a visual. And... Do that for 30 seconds an hour. If you just do that, you'll be amazed at the results. Because your brain is designed to integrate. It's designed to use both sides of the brain. When you're sitting all day, staring at a computer, using a mouse with one hand, you're segregating your brain. So what that means is you're using one side of the brain more than the other. So if I'm using my right hand to move my mouse around, the left side of my brain controls my right hand. So the left side of my brain is getting lots of activity. Right side of my brain isn't getting a whole lot. And so I'm segregating my brain, and the brain now can get tired, brain fog, thought processes can be blurred. So it's really simple little trick you can do called a cross crawl. Now, even if you're active all day, if you take every 30 seconds once an hour and do a cross crawl, watch what happens. It's 30 seconds, folks. You don't even have to stop working. Let's just say you're, you're, you're a stay-at-home parent. Kids are driving you crazy. Once an hour, 30 seconds, just do it. Let's assume you're a, tr a car driver, truck driver. Okay, Every time you get out of your cab or every time you get out of your truck, do a minute if you want. It doesn't have to be 30 seconds. It'll be longer, but I'm giving you 30 seconds to make it easy. Watch what happens when you start integrating your brain. It's crazy. Then you start adding the good nutrition that we talk about all the time. And then if you do want to take it to the next level, which I advise you do, you get checked out by hopefully my team of doctors, but certainly a qualified chiropractor to see if there's any structural issues. It's such an easy plan. Normally functioning nervous system, normally functioning digestive system, good nutrition. Those are the three things you have to have in order to make it work. So go ahead and do that. And you'll be amazed what happens. It's not it, it's not like it won't happen. Something good will happen. Now, it may not be everything you want to happen. It may not solve all your health issues, but baby steps.
Let's get doing something. And the cross crawl is just an amazing thing you can do physically. Again, we talked about pain. You want to come see us for that because that's not something you want to ignore. It's probably just going to get worse and worse as time goes on. So if you don't move, you don't participate in exercise, even just a walking program, this is going to work real well for you. Now, even if you do those things, it's going to help offset a sedentary lifestyle or an active lifestyle. It works either way. That's what's so cool about this. It's like, what option do you have if you don't take care of your health? Well, you ha- the option is poor health. That's it. You have good health or bad health. And so you can make those decisions, moving toward good health or moving toward bad health. Now, a lot of people come to me and I'll look at their intake form, we call it, where a patient fills out what they have. And I'm amazed how many things are checked off. They have multiple chronic symptoms. Headache, neck pain, back pain, acid reflux, heartburn, acid indigestion, uh, ED, um, numbness, tingling, headaches, blurred vision, uh, low blood sugar, menstrual cramps. And I'm looking at this going, holy cow. And the patients always say this, Dr. Joe, I don't even know where to start. I'm so deep into this being sick, I don't even know where to start. So if you have multiple symptoms that you're dealing with every day, you don't want to brush it off and say, well, this is just my life. Unfortunately, if you want to stay healthy for many years, you have to start picking away at these things. And most of them, there's things you can do. Not all of them, but most of these multiple symptoms are things you can do. Subtle symptoms, fatigue, low testosterone, slower metabolism, digestive disorders, joint pain, skin conditions are are common when you have chronic inflammation. So I have patients come to us all the time. I had a, a gal come in the other day, and she had she worked out two, hour, two, two hours a day, five days a week. She looked great physically. Brain fog, headaches, uh, depression, anxiety, um, acid reflux, constipation. And so I said, all of these are connected. Very seldom does somebody come in, and I can't connect the dots with their conditions. And I explained to her, in her case, her stomach was pushed up against her diaphragm, And so she had acid reflux and the food wasn't being digested properly. So it passed from the stomach into the small intestine, partially digested, where essentially the food was rotting, causing causing a lot of gas and bloating. Well, she wasn't absorbing her nutrients properly, so her brain couldn't work. So she had brain frog, she had anxiety, she had depression, she she called it post-traumatic stress disorder. And so all the working out in the world, two hours a day, couldn't overcome her lifestyle issues and her physical issues. And so once we sat down and explained it to her, she got real excited. Oh my gosh, really? There's things I can do about this? I've been to so many different doctors and every one of them just blows me off. I got this pain, I got that pain, I have a hip replacement, I have digestive issues. And every doctor was looking at one thing. Nobody was looking at the whole package. And that's what we do in our office. We try to get to the cause of your problems, not just treat the symptoms. So multiple chronic symptoms is a big issue. It could become significantly more important to pay attention over time because some of these conditions can now eventually lead to life-threatening issues. So the the, the take-home for this part is don't ignore your symptoms. Something's wrong. I I had a mole on my leg, and I always had it since I was in high school. And so there was an issue involved. Uh, um, so a, a gal I was dating, I was wearing shorts one day, and she looked at it, and she says, how long has that been there? And I said, it's been there since I was in high school. She insisted I go get it checked. And I went to a dermatologist, and he looked at it, and he said, nope, it's fine. It's benign. Don't worry about it. Now, since high school, I ignored it because it never changed. It never was itchy. It didn't bleed or anything like that. It had regular borders to it. No big deal. So... That was when I was younger, and I ignored, I thought, well, it's no big deal. It's nothing to worry about. I got it checked out. It was fine. Most of the time, when you get things checked out, there's an answer to it. That's the cool part. So you don't have to be concerned going in. Now, the quicker you get to it, the better off you're going to be, so that's going to take away a lot of stress too. So don't ignore multiple chronic symptoms or even individual chronic symptoms because chances are it's going to be an issue. So what we're talking about today, I'm Dr. Joe Esposito, if you're just tuning in. What we're talking about today are uh, don't ignore these signs and symptoms because on our website, drjoe.com, I get so many questions and I love answering questions for you guys. I really do. Uh, So if you have a question, you can send it to me through the website, drjoe.com. Myself and my assistant, his name is Joe as well. uh, We work on getting these questions answered as quickly as possible. And we try to give you some insight. Now, once again, there's no promises. There's no guarantees. 
We just try to get to the insight as to what's going on and maybe give you some direction to go in. And that's what most people want. Dr. Joe, I don't know what to do. Give me something. Tell me where to go. Tell me who to talk to so I can deal with this issue. And we're pretty good at that. If it's not something we can deal with or think we can deal with, I have a referral network that I can send people out to. So I'm more than happy to do that as well. So if you'd like to make an appointment, drjoe.com, we'd love to be your doctors. We have four offices in the Atlanta area, Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. Please make your appointment right away. It's very important. Oh, by the way, uh, people ask me too, how do I make an appointment? Normally, the first visit is $712. We've reduced that for our listeners to $299. That's an exam, x-rays, consultation, first treatment, going over the x-rays, complete nutrition evaluation. There's only two rules I want you to consider. Number one, if you make an appointment, please show up because we're going to reserve a room and a doctor and a staff member for at least an hour for you. And if you don't show up, you took that time away from somebody else. My doctors could have been treating other patients. That Another patient could have had an appointment there. Please, if you make an appointment, let us know. Something came up. I need to reschedule. Let us know. Don't just stiff us. That's, that's bad karma, by the way, too. So. And then number two, I want you to be ready to get well. I want you to make sure that you're serious about wanting to get well because we're going to get serious right away about giving you a protocol if we can accept you as a patient to get well. If we can't accept you as a patient, we have other people we can refer you to. So please make that appointment right away, drjoe.com. So if you're experiencing multiple symptoms, neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, and if you're ever in a car accident, if the car is damaged, you're damaged. I've never seen it any other way. And be careful. There's a lot of scammers out there. You may get a call. Somebody says, oh, by the way, this is uh, Tom from your insurance company. Well, the reason Tom knows your insurance company is accident reports are now listed online. So I can look up an accident report and say, I'm... I'm Joe from your insurance company, and I want you to go see Dr. Smith, and I want you to go see Attorney Phillips or whatever. Those are scams. If you get a call like that, hang up the phone immediately. You're getting scammed. And you don't want to be part of the scam either because you can get in trouble too. So make an appointment with legitimate doctors, doctors who you know you can trust. Um, And if you'd like to make an appointment with us, we'd love to see you as a patient. Dr. Joe, drjoe.com. Another thing that happens as we get older is... We have those senior moments. Now, it happens to all of us. We walk in a room. Can't remember why you're in the room, where you put the remote, where's the car keys. My father was just say, where's my glasses? Where's my glasses? And his glasses be on top of his head sometimes. Now, he didn't have any dementia, but he would sometimes forget things. It's perfectly normal to forget things every now and then. But when you can't remember basic things, Uh, For example, a lot of people, after they have a viral infection, a very famous viral infection, um, they come to me and they say, Dr. Joe, I have horrible brain fog. I can't remember things. Uh, One of the things they come up with is they'll um, they'll say, I'm listening to the radio. I know the song. It's one of my favorite songs. I can't remember the artist. Or I can't remember uh, simple things like, oh, gosh, I had an appointment. It was in my calendar even. I still forgot it. If this happens on a regular basis, it's not normal. Forgetting the remote where the car keys are, that's fine. Cleveland Clinic says that memory problems can be a sign of mild cognitive impairment or dementia. Now, I've done many shows on brain function. I'm, I love brain function. I'm, I, I'm, I'm fascinated by the brain. If you go to our website, drjoe.com, you can type in brain. I know we've done shows on brain function. These are warning signs that there's something wrong. And there are things you can do to try to reverse it early on. A lot of people, after getting viral infections, we got to get them on supplements. Now, the minimum supplements I recommend almost everybody take are Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. Now, if you don't know what they are, they're two powders. They taste great. They're on the website, drjoe.com, and I can't imagine a day going by without taking Super Greens and Essential Source. Every day, patients come to me and they say, Dr. Joe, I got the Super Greens and the Essential Source. Oh, my God. I can't imagine how bad I felt all the time because I feel so good now. And that's just the starting point. Uh, I take nitric oxide every day. Opens up your blood vessels. Uh, Big thing now you hear in low T, low testosterone. Come see us. We're going to give you testosterone. I'm not a fan of taking testosterone if you have low testosterone. Doesn't make sense, does it? Yes, it does. If you take outside hormones, for men, if you take testosterone, it can shrink up your testicles. Because the testicles produce testosterone. If you're getting an outside source, the brain says, I got plenty of testosterone. Testicles, you don't have to do anything anymore. We're good. And if you don't use it, you lose it. 
And that's what can happen. Now, you could fi- got to find out, are you low in testosterone? Or are you making testosterone, but it's converting into estrogen? Because for men, that's how we get most of our estrogen. Our testosterone converts into estrogen. Some of us have too much aromatase. Aromatase is an enzyme that converts testosterone into estrogen. So you can very simply take natural aromatase inhibitors to slow down that process. Uh, Things like uh, stinging nettle, which is quercetin. Quercetin is a supplement you can take. Uh, Stinging nettle has quercetin in it. Cruciferous vegetables, broccoli, uh, Brussels sprouts, anything cruciferous in the cruciferous field can act as an aromatase inhibitor, preventing your testosterone from converting over to estrogen. So that's something else men can do and then exercise and then things like nitric oxide to increase circulation, adrenal support to get the adrenals working, cutting out animal proteins. Animal proteins are loaded with estrogen in most cases and estrogen counteracts testosterone. So cutting out your animal proteins can help raise that testosterone level. So there's a lot of things you can do. And if you go to our website, drjoe.com, just type in men's, men's health. Listen to a show we did on men's health and we discussed pretty much in detail uh, how to make sure those you, you as a man are still working as well as you possibly can. Uh, but the key really is getting the nervous system working because the nervous system controls everything. And all the things I have, and I'm probably going to do several shows on this, uh, just questions you guys have thrown out at me, is getting the nervous system working, getting the digestive system working, getting your diet straightened out. So if you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, headaches, numbness, tingling, uh, muscle issues, children, uh, acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas bloating, come see us. Stop suffering. Again, I, my goal, my dream, and when I can finally retire, is when the world says, wait a minute, why don't I start with the most effective, least expensive treatment for any healthcare treat problem and then escalate the care if I need to? When that happens, all, most of our healthcare crisis is going to go away. It's going to be amazing. And you, the patient, is going to benefit the most. So if you'd like to make an appointment, drjoe.com. Do me a favor, follow us on social media. We broadcast a lot of our shows and lectures and podcasts. And if you're on social media, you're going to get a, a push notification. My handle is at Dr. Joe Esposito. So just go to Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, I think it is. We're on there too. Uh, 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 Stitch, uh, we're, we're on a bunch of platforms. Check your platform, at Dr. Joe Esposito. And just follow us. It's free. You're going to get so much advice for free. You're going to regret that you didn't do it sooner, like most patients say. If you're a social media junkie, go to your podcast service and type in Dr. Joe for the health of it. Dr. Joe, D-R-J-O-E, for the health of it. That's how you get our podcasts on your podcast service. And we have hundreds of hours there. And on our website, drjoe.com, that's really kind of home base, we have over 3,000 hours of podcasts, audio, video, Maybe you're a visual learner. Uh, uh, Subscribe to my YouTube channel, at Dr. Joe Esposito. So much information out there. And on the website, you just type in what you're looking for, whatever issue. Chances are we've done a podcast, a a lecture, an article, a blog on it, and you're going to get so much insight. And the nice part is, if that's still not enough, you can still send me questions through the website, drjoe.com. I want to be your doctor. All my, I have five other doctors. All my doctors want to be your doctors. We want to help you naturally get well and stay well. We have offices in the Atlanta area, Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. Just make an appointment. Stop suffering. We accept almost every insurance out there. Medicare. If the VA refers you to us, the Veterans Administration, they even pay for the treatment. I mean, come on, folks. I can't make it easier for you unless I came to your house, which I'm not going to do. So I would love to have you come in our office, drjoe.com. Uh, the supplements we talked about, Super Green, Central Source, Nitric Oxide, all of our supplements are on the website, drjoe.com. And if you come pick them up at our offices, you save shipping. Hey, folks, do me a favor. Tell your friends about the show. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe Esposito here. Glad you're with us. What we're, gonna, what we're talking about today are signs and symptoms you shouldn't ignore. And on our website, drjoe.com, we get so many patients sending us questions. And of course, the patients that we see in the Atlanta area, we have four offices, Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. So between our listeners all over the world and between our website, which is extremely popular, and between our patients, we get, I would say, questions nonstop, 24 hours a day, seven days a week almost. So what we're talking about today are these are questions that have come up over the years and patients think it's nothing to worry about. Well, I'm telling you, it is something to worry about. So you may have some of these problems, And you think, well, it's no big deal. 
you know, I've had this neck pain for 10 years. It's no big deal. No, it's a big deal. Something's wrong. Um, we're talking about, uh, I'm going to jump right in with weight gain and weight loss because these can be very serious signs of something wrong. And if you do have a problem, uh, you can send it through the website, drjoe.com question, and we'll try to get back to you. But the most important thing you can really do is come see us. It's much easier to just come see us and then we can do an evaluation. We can check the nervous system, check the digestive system, look at your diet, and let's see what we need to do to get this thing taken care of. And again, if you'd like to make an appointment, you can do it right online, drjoe, drjoe.com. And you can just pick your office and it tells you how to make an appointment right there. It's real easy. So people come to me a lot and say, Dr. Joe, I can't lose weight. I'm gaining weight. Now, sudden weight gain is a big issue. Now, if you let yourself get fat over time, and I used to be fat, so I can say the F word. If you let yourself get fat over time, probably not a big deal. Yeah, it's a big deal, but it's not like what we're talking about now. Most people being overweight has negative impact on their health, but they don't even know if their weight's in the normal range or where the fat is. So many times, if you have the belly fat, beer belly, that's called visceral fat. And visceral fat means the fat is around the organs. And when you get visceral fat, it can lead to heart disease, diabetes. Uh, so it's very dangerous. Now, I'm a guest on a, 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 another show. It's an Eric Von Hessler show called The Von Hessler Doctrine. And we were talking one day, and he made a good point. You know, people say, you know, beautiful at any size. Don't body shame me. We're not body shaming. And I'm not anyway. I'm concerned about your health. Because you really can't be as healthy as you could be if you're overweight. You're not use, reaching your maximum potential if you're overweight. Now, this is not about body image and not about shaming anyone. It's about all that excess fat causes problems. And again, I used to, have, I used to be fat, so I can say these things. I know. I'm Italian. I can make fun of Italians, right? But if you're fat, fat produces estrogen. Fat becomes a living, breathing organ and starts producing estrogen. Estrogen counteracts testosterone, uh, has major effects on your body, and it's a growth hormone. So it can stimulate abnormal cell growth in the body. So fat can produce estrogen. Fat puts stress on the joints. I have a lot of patients, family members included, former family members, they've passed now, that were overweight and they had knee issues. They had foot issues. They had hip issues. They had structural issues. So as a chiropractor and a pain expert, I worry that this, over, this, this excessive weight is going to put pressure on the joints, which is going to cause pinched nerves, cause the joints to wear out. So there isn't a, 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 the body is designed to work best at certain weights. So from a health standpoint, I want you to consider that. I don't know what motivates you. I teach this a lot to my doctors, and I teach postgraduate for doctors all over the world. And I'll say, listen, you got to find out what motivates the patient. And there was a, a guy I, used to, I did lectures for down in Florida. He said, what's your why? You know, find your why. Why do you want to get healthy? Why do you want to get out of pain? Why do you want to lose weight? Why do you want to fix your acid reflux? And find out what your why is, and then you'll be motivated. So I have patients come in and say, well, Dr. Joe, I can't pick up my grandchild anymore. My back hurts too bad. My knees hurt. I'm overweight. I'm exhausted all the time. There's your why. Why do you want to do it? I want to play with my grandkids. My why is I want to live a normal, happy, healthy life. I don't want to become a burden to somebody when I'm older. I don't want to be in a, a nursing home. I've been in them before. It doesn't look like fun. I want to be independent. I want to have fun. I want to be able to teach until the day I die. And so I want to live as long as I possibly can to help you get better. So my why is I want to teach you how to get healthy. So I have to follow my own advice. And I want to make sure I'm as healthy as I can possibly be. So... If weight gain is an issue, find your why. Why do you want to lose that weight? I want to look better. Why? Well, I want to get somebody to go out with me. Okay, there's your motivation. You want to improve your, your love life. So what do we got to do to get to your goal? Well, go to our website, drjoe.com. Just put in weight loss. I've done many shows on weight loss. And find out how to do it. The secret, I'll give you a little insight before you even listen to the shows. The secret to losing weight is one thing. Get the bad food out of the house. Yeah, but doc, no, I don't care what your butt is. I don't care about your butt. I care about how to lose your butt. There you go. See, little, little joke there. I care about how you're going to get there. Well, yeah, but my husband won't eat that way. Good. Who buys the groceries? I do. Well, tell your husband if he wants something bad, he's got to go out and get it. Yeah, but my grandkids, grandkids need to be eating well too. Yeah, but, yeah, but, no, there's yeah, buts. You got to get the bad food out of the house. And the reason I say that is, 
I'm as guilty as you are. If there's bad food in the house, I'm going to eat it. Now, I'm vegan. I'm plant-based. I haven't had animal product in over 35 years. It's easy. It's stupid easy. You'll be amazed how easy it is when you finally do it. Because every patient I've ever coached, and I've been coaching now for about 40 years, every patient I've ever taught and coached who did what I said says the same thing. I can't believe how easy this was. Why didn't I do this sooner? I get it all the time. Everybody says it. No one has ever followed the advice that I teach on nutrition, came back to me and said, Dr. Joe, I wish I'd never done that. That was stupid. No one ever. Between radio and television and books and lectures and patients, I've probably reached tens and tens, maybe hundreds of thousands of people. I'd say hundreds of thousands, yeah. No one has ever said, that was a mistake that I did this. Now, it's a little challenging. That's why you want to listen to the show we did on weight loss because it talks about how the brain craves food and how to reset the brain. We even have a 21-day cleanse that we have on the website, drjoe.com, 21-day weight loss program, that allows you to reset the brain. And when patients do it, most of them come back and say, now I can eat normally. I don't crave the cookies and cakes and donuts and pastas like I used to. So you got to reset the brain. That's the key to weight loss. But I digress. That's not today's show. If you have an unplanned weight loss, that's something that's very important that you get that checked. Uh, losing weight can be incredibly hard. So if it happens, it's usually uh, you eating right, you're going to the gym, you're following Dr. Joe's advice, you've done a 21-day program. But if you're losing pounds and you're not sure why, Mayo Clinic says losing weight more than 10 pounds or 5% of your body weight in six months to a year can be a sign of a long list of health problems including diabetes, hyperthyroidism, cancer, liver disease. So if you're losing weight and you're not trying to, you need to go to your medical doctor and get that checked. That's not a chiropractic thing. That's a medical thing. So you might want to get to your medical doctor and get, get, get evaluated for that. I have patients, and I was one of them, that had a chronic cough. Your cough is, is stuck, far, stuck around far more than a typical cold or flu would last, uh, maybe even three to four week range or longer. It could be a sign of something more serious, and that's when you want to take note. According to Harvard Medical School, a common symptom in patients with advanced heart disease can be a chronic cough that gets worse at night because you're laying down and fluid builds up in your lungs. Now, if you have a cough combined with heartburn, that's probably acid reflux. Now, if you're new to the show, you know that I love dealing with acid reflux patients. We do. My team of doctors do. Because in most cases, not all, but most cases, the stomach, which sits below your diaphragm, pushes up into the diaphragm. And when the stomach pushes up into the diaphragm, acid can come up into your throat, irritate your throat, <clears throat> and cause a chronic cough. So many times, that's a warning sign that we, you need to come see us. So in most cases, not all, we're able to pull the stomach down away from the diaphragm, get the stomach to relax, and now the acid reflux goes away. Well, acid reflux is a very serious condition. And I've always said, if I could never treat another patient from a chiropractic standpoint, we can build multiple clinics on nothing but digestive problems. Most people have digestive problems, but they don't talk about it. Acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas, bloating. It's not dinner conversation. And so we very good at working with people with digestive problems. Now, we work in conjunction with your medical doctors. If you have a gastroenterologist, absolutely. In fact, I just, the other day, sent the patient to a gastroenterologist. She's been coming to see us for acid reflux. She got some results. She still has a little lingering. I said, let's go get that checked. Let's have a medical doctor, maybe do an endoscope. Let's see what's going on down there just to make sure I'm right. I'd much rather err on the side of caution. And so she made an appointment and we'll see what happens. But acid reflux in many cases is pretty easy to manage. If you go to our website, drjoe.com, just type in the words GERD, G-E-R-D, the letters, G-E-R-D. We did a whole article on the techniques that we use uh, to work on that. So a nagging cough can be a sign of heartburn. Acid coming up into the throat can lead to things like cancer uh, or death. So it's not something you want to ignore. I've had a lot of people that were singers. They started getting acid reflux. They couldn't sing. The acid was irritating their vocal cords. And through adjusting the stomach, getting them on a good diet, chiropractically checking the spine, the nerves to the stomach, um, saved countless people's careers. And your stomach has one job, and that job is to take proteins, unravel them, and chop them up into something called amino acids. Now, the amino acid named 
tryptophan becomes serotonin. Tyrosine becomes dopamine. I think tyrosine becomes norepinephrine as well, and norepinephrine gives you energy. So many times, if you're not breaking down your proteins into amino acids, you're not able to produce the neurotransmitters. The neurotransmitters control the brain. And in the future, I'm going to do a show on nothing but neurotransmitters. Because the neurotransmitters are the reason your brain works, and the brain is the reason you're alive. So we can do a whole show on getting the brain working more efficiently by fixing neurotransmitter issues. And that's coming up. It's not, I, I, I've, got the, I've got it all worked out in my mind. I just got to get it all together. So if you have acid reflux, folks, please don't ignore it. I cannot stress enough the importance of fixing that because it affects your brain. It affects your moods. It affects your hormones. It affects everything. It's a lot more than just, hey, I take some pills and my acid reflux goes away. That's treating the symptom, not treating the cause. And in our offices, we have one goal, and that goal is to try to get to the cause of your healthcare problems and not treat the symptoms. Now, I'm okay treating the symptoms as we go along, treating the cause as well. So, for example, if you're, uh, you have pain issues, headaches, numbness, tingling, spinal pain, I'm okay if we do some injections or if we do some medications to calm down the pain while we work on getting to the cause. Pretty cool. Okay. And in our offices, we're really good at working on pain. My doctors are some of, I, my opinion, some of the best in the world at working at pain patients. And I work with them every day. I teach my doctors every day. They teach me every day. So the nice part is you're not just going in and seeing one doctor. You have a team of doctors working on your case in our offices. So if you'd like to make an appointment, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb, and that's the Atlanta area. Normally, the first visit is $712. We've reduced that to $299. That's an exam, x-rays, consultation, first treatment, going over the x-rays, and a complete nutrition evaluation on a follow-up visit, and we want to be your doctors. Please, I'm begging you, don't make an appointment and not show up. We are reserving an hour's worth of staff, room time, doctor time specifically for you. If you don't show up, that's not cool, okay? I don't want to have to start charging people before they come in for their first visit, so don't be the person that causes us to do that. So if you want to make an appointment, make it. If you have to cancel it or change it, just call us. It's fine. We understand life gets in the way, but please make the commitment to coming in. And then if you're ready to get well, make the appointment. If you're not ready to get well, don't bother. Don't waste your time. Don't take up that time from somebody else. So we're real serious. We're real serious about wanting to be your doctors and helping you get well. Chiropractic care, most effective, least expensive treatment for back pain in most cases. Why wouldn't you do it? And it's covered by most insurances. And if you're ever in a car accident, please, if you're ever in a car accident, if the car's damaged, you're damaged. You need to come see us right away. Don't let somebody call you and say, hey, you need to go see this doctor, this attorney. And I've had many of my, my honest doctor friends say, my patient stopped coming in. We called them up. Oh, they said they got a call from their insurance company. And they said they wouldn't pay to see this doctor. They'll only pay to see this doctor. That's a lie. That's out and out fraud. And you can be part of that fraud. And you don't want to be involved in that. Okay, I don't know what legal ramifications there are, but you certainly don't want to be part of that. And you're not probably not going to get the treatment you need either. So if you want to make an appointment from a car accident or anything, drjoe.com. We'd love to be your doctors. We want the opportunity to naturally get you well and keep you well. So what we're talking about today, I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. What we're talking about today are symptoms you shouldn't ignore. And these are questions that I get all the time. Hey, Dr. Joe, I got this issue. Should I worry about it? Sometimes no. Sometimes yes. If you have chest discomfort after doing anything physical, so you're doing yard work, you're working out, you're exercising, you start getting chest pain, that can be called angina. Now, it could be a sign that the uh, aortic valve, one of the valves in your heart, is narrowing. And if that valve is narrowing, you're not getting good blood flow, and so it hurts. So if you have that, it's a good idea to go get a medical evaluation. If you ever have severe chest pain, don't take it lightly. Now, Women and men have different symptoms many times when it comes to heart attack. Men will have chest pain shooting down their left arm like an elephant sitting on their chest. For women, sometimes it's anxiety. Sometimes it's tension. Sometimes you feel paranoid. You have pain in your neck, pain in your shoulder. Either way, it's a good idea to get these things checked, and you want to call 911 for this one. Don't call us. This is not a chiropractic case. This is a medical case. Let's get you stabilized medically then we can get the chiropractic to try to get you better. If you have a dissecting aorta, that becomes a very serious issue. So what that means is the blood vessels can start to split open, usually because you have so much plaque built up in there. 
And if you have plaque built up in there, that's something we have to worry about. And so if the, if, and I do this all the time, we take x-rays and we take a low back x-ray and we'll see calcification of the aorta or the common iliac arteries, it's called sometimes, it depends on where it is. And if you see that, it's almost 100% caused by your diet. And the nice part is most of the time it's reversible through diet. So if we see somebody with dissecting aortic aneurysm or if just a hardening of the arteries, we get real serious about our nutrition consultations with them. I've had patients, if it's above 55 millimeters, the placking that we see in the arteries, if it's above 55 millimeters, that's a medical emergency. And over the years, probably three or four times in the years I've been in practice, we'll take an x-ray and we'll see it. And we'll say, you need to get to the hospital now. Well, I got an appointment in three months with my cardiologist. No, now. And many times I've gotten calls from cardiologists saying, wow, I've been treating this patient for years, never found this. Good call because you just saved their life. It's kind of a good feeling. And then once they're stable through the cardiologist, then we're able to take them back as a chiropractic patient and work with them again. So if blood flow is properly restored, the heart muscle can be saved. Uh, and sometimes you have to do surgical repairs on these things. So don't ignore these symptoms. That's what we're talking about today. Don't ignore these symptoms because they're very serious. And these are the type of questions we get every day, similar to this, on our website, drjoe.com. So if you want to send us a question, drjoe.com, a little bot pops up. It says, hey, you want to chat? Yeah, I do want to chat. Type in your question, and myself or my assistant, Joe, uh, will get back to you as quickly as possible. And again, all the advice is no guarantees, no promises. I put it right in the thing. This is just, go see you. This is not advice. This is just what I think maybe you might want to consider, um, just to cover our fannies. But countless people over the years, literally countless, um, have benefited from tuning into our podcasts and listening to our lectures and most importantly, becoming patients. So if you are a podcast junkie, just go to your podcast service, drjoe.com. Uh, I'm sorry, podcast service, Dr. Joe for the health of it. Dr. Joe for the health of it, and you'll have access to our podcast on your podcast service. Our website, drjoe, drjoe.com, we have over 3,000 hours of podcasts. So you can type in whatever you're looking for in a search bar, and chances are, We've done a show, a video, a podcast, a blog on it, and the access to that entire library of information, absolutely free. It's my gift to you because I want you to have this information so that you can make better decisions when it comes to your health care. Do me a favor. Follow us on social media at Dr. Joe Esposito. That sign, Dr. Joe Esposito, one word. We post almost every day on Facebook, on Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, gosh, on YouTube, uh, we're posting somewhere almost every day because we want to get this information out to you and we just can't get it out fast enough. So if you follow us on social media, you'll get little push notifications or pop-ups or whatever. And sometimes we just post little funny, silly things. I posted something the other day that was kind of funny and everybody got a good laugh out of it. So if you remember, you'd know that. We give away tickets, concert tickets, lecture tickets, uh, show tickets. So if you follow us, we give it out to our followers. If you're not a follower, you ain't getting them. So at Dr. Joe Esposito. Do that for me, if you would, please. Itchy skin. Get this almost every day. That made me itch when I said it. If you have itchy skin, you have rashes, you have acne, um, it's almost always a liver issue. I've had cases, adult acne, tried everything, tried the medications, tried the creams, tried the pills, tried the anti-inflammatories, tried the drugs, nothing worked. And we'll get them on liver supplements. Things like uh, Livton or Liviplex, those are from a company called Standard Process. And we there's a link to Standard Process on our website under clinics. You go to Standard Process. You can't buy from Standard Process directly, but you can buy through my account. So I'm happy to share my account with you. Um, but Livton, Liviplex, Super Greens, Essential Source, those are our products. Uh, glutathione, our product. If we can get the liver cleaned up, many times the skin clears up eczema, uh, psoriasis. I've had so many patients over the years and I'll just say, hey, listen, just give up wheat and dairy products as a step one. They give up wheat and dairy products and they're blown away. Babies especially, how quickly the skin clears up because wheat and dairy are very inflammatory and dairy is the number one food allergen. Wheat is the number two food allergen. We take the stress off the immune system, take the stress off the liver. The body's able to clean itself up. Amazing what happens in many cases. So if you have skin issues, it could be a sign that there's something wrong. Don't ignore it. 
It's a sign that there's something going on. And you say, ah, it's no big deal. It just itches a little bit. I'll put some cream on it, put some, uh, you know, uh, prednisone, whatever. That's not going to fix it. We want, it's coming from the inside out, not from the outside in. And so you don't want to ignore that. Fix it from the inside out. Interesting way of looking at skin conditions, isn't it? Many times it's internal. Another issue we don't want to ignore is erectile dysfunction. Now, we joke about it. There's commercials about it. There's little blue pills for it, white pills too now. But it can be indicative of heart disease or circulatory issues. And just like heart disease or stroke, you can build up plaque uh, in the arteries and the blood vessels going into your sex organs. This is for men and even women who have trouble in, in the romantic department. There could be blood vessel clogs from bad diet. And many times that's a warning sign. It's a canary in a coal mine. You know what? I'm getting old. I'm just not as uh, active as I used to be. I'm not as frisky as I used to feel. Those can be warning signs that something's wrong. Now, we, we have something in our office called acoustic wave therapy, and we're going to be offering it for treatment for this in the very near future, uh, where it's a acoustic wave therapy, sometimes called soft wave therapy. It's shock wave therapy. It's not really a shock, though. And it sends little impulses into an area, whether it's the wrist or the shoulder or the hip or the genitals, and it can help the body increase new blood, blood vessels. It can actually grow new blood vessels and then stimulate the body to send in healing, like uh, uh, stem cell type things, into the area, healing cells to grow new tissue. And results are pretty cool. So with erectile dysfunction, we always check the nerve supply in the low back because that's the nerve supply to the colon, sex organs, and bladder. We can consider acoustic wave therapy. Supplement-wise, you've got to cut out the animal proteins. Those saturated fats are clogging up your arteries, folks. There's not a question about it. It's interesting. There was a study put out saying that they based this whole study on people don't need to give up meat because people like eating meat. And so if you like eating it, uh, you don't have to give it up. And I read this study. I was like, seriously? I like, it could be like cocaine. We should, we should we allow you to do cocaine? No. So it was an insane study. But anyway, it was funded by a meat industry uh, lobbyists. And I just laughed at that. But animal proteins directly linked to prostate issues, directly linked to heart disease, directly linked to cancer, and can be directly linked, can be, not always, but can be directly linked to erectile dysfunction. So things like Dr. Joe's nitric oxide support. Nitric oxide opens up the blood vessels. Number one supplements we have are super greens and essential source. If you're not taking those yet, folks, I can't imagine why you're not. They're relatively inexpensive. They're amazing. They're two powders. They taste great. They're on the website, drjoe.com. Nitric oxide helps increase circulation. Uh, it helps open up your blood vessels. That's protocol. We can also do PRP shots into the sex organs for men and women, but that's not this show today. And then we talked about uh, aromatase inhibitor supplements like uh, quercetin and cruciferous vegetables to stop the testosterone from converting into estrogen. I'm out of time. If you have any questions, send them to me through the website, drjoe.com. If you want to make an appointment, which is the best thing to do, drjoe.com. The Atlanta area, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. Normally, the first visit is $712. We've reduced that to $299 for my listeners. Again, the website, drjoe.com. Thanks for tuning in, folks.